Hi, I'm Anna Sillanpää, CEO and co-founder of Robes. And I'm here today to tell you how the future of fashion, the second largest consumer segment, is founded on something that comes very natural to us, sharing. So let's take a look at where we are today. Millions of people are constantly looking for their next outfit to wear. This is happening all the time, more and more often, and that is leading to one of the most polluting problems we have in this world today, overconsumption and overproduction. So here's the thing. Um, we are constantly having the need for the, having like a variety in our styles. Um, but our desire to refresh our style doesn't depend on whether the clothes are new or secondhand. In fact, um, this desire combined with increasing price awareness uh, has led more people to find their next outfit from someone else's wardrobe. Uh, this problem is something that I have been thinking over for many years already. Uh, think about it. We already have enough clothes on this planet to dress the next six generations. And the real challenge is, how can we find ways to actually use what we already have? So while, while my background is in technology, I have always been a fashion girl myself. So growing up, I always borrowed my clothes from my sister's and friend's closets. And I came up with this idea like, uh, what if we could actually start using like, uh, like clothes from anyone's wardrobe? And this is how Robes was born. Today, we have the largest shared wardrobe in Finland, featuring stunning pieces from anyone's wardrobes. So we have a fast growing community here, and today I'm here to share uh, key insights and data on this revolutionary consumption model. Uh, one that has already captured the hearts of so, like, from so many. So now, like think about it, imagine having an access to anyone's wardrobe. Like someone you are, like whose style you desire. What would you want to wear? Maybe that's the question you're thinking at the moment. So if we take a look at the data, um, in our case, many of, like most of our community members turn to robes for pieces they would typically wear one, only once or twice, like formal wear. Dresses, in particular, are one of the most, uh, is, is the most uh, rented category on our platform, followed by bags, jewelry, and shoes. And these are typically the items you would maybe buy and only wear for one specific occasion or event, and then they would be left sitting unworn in your wardrobe, right? And so typically, also if we are thinking, like, thinking about like, what, how this compares to buying, you have to give it back, back to the owner. So, how, like, uh, what, so if we take a look at the rental durations, typically the formal wear is most commonly rented for the weekend and the time when it's needed for an event. Um, instead of being left to gather dust in a closet, then there's going to be someone else again who's able to use it again for, the, for their own event. So this is bringing an active life for these dresses and other clothes uh, without the need for new purchases. Uh, we're also seeing a growing interest in um, everyday clothing rentals. These are typically rented for a week or even a monthly basis for month, like a purposes like business meetings, job interviews and office wear. Uh, so what drives people to rent from others so actively, you might be thinking about? Um, beyond sustainability, affordability is actually a major factor. Here's an example. You can rent this dress, this reformation dress, from robes starting for 30 euros, while the same item would cost 60 euros from a traditional rental service like Rent the Runway. Or over 400 euros when you would buy it as a new. So if you're like wearing the dress only for once, let's say for your friend's wedding, uh, the choice is obvious. And it is the key reason why peer-to-peer -peer rentals are growing so fast here. Uh, but it is not only about this dress. As um, we offer like designer fashion, 
prices you won't find anywhere else. So actually, like uh, luxury and accessibility have, haven't been like haven't been used in the same sense as before until now, as we make high-end fashion more affordable than any other marketplace in the world. So. For example, like the Chanel earrings, the retail price starting from 500, uh, 500 euros, you get to wear for a weekend for 20 euros. So from another perspective, why would you want to sell your own clothes to others? That might be something you might also consider. So today, um, 50 to 80% of our wardrobes are sitting unworn. These are typically the pieces you might think, be thinking about yourself that are that you are maybe using monthly or even yearly basis. So with robes, you can actually earn money from clothes you no longer use or are just like uh, not using so reg regularly. Here's a few examples of how some of our users have turned their closets into income streams. So let's, for example, like the Norma Gamali dress. The owner has bought it for 200 euros, but she has already earned with this dress more than 950 euros. And the return of the investment is more than uh, 300%. Few other examples, the paid price with the totem dress is 550, but the girl has already earned one, over 1,000 euros with this dress over just like a few months. Also with the earrings, this might be something you uh, and you can always, if you want, obviously also like use them as well by yourself when you are like needing them, and only rent when you are not. So this trend has led many to invest in quality over like uh, in quality and luxury pieces that retain their value. It is a powerful motivator uh, for people to choose quality over quantity. And that is a change we all want to see in the world today, right? And so our goal from the beginning has been that we want to make circular fashion as easy, appealing as possible. Um, I have to share to you first that soon we, we will introduce a feature that allows you to list a new purchase uh, on robes, which is a couple of clicks when you're purchasing a new item. Um, we should have a video here showing it to you. <laughs> but uh, anyways, like when you're purchasing a new item, just a couple of clicks and you can list it on robes. And in, in addition to simplicity, our goal is to make um, renting as appealing as possible. And how, how, how can we make this happen? Alongside with the wardrobes of your neighbors and friends, uh, robes features collections from Finland's most followed uh, fashion figures. Uh, so I have a question for yourself. Have you ever uh, dreamed about like ha being able to have an access to maybe your favorite, how to say, um, public figures wardrobe? Let's say, for example, like uh, Princess Diana's archives, maybe Shrek or even Beyonce. Uh, I'm happy to share that this will soon be possible as um, we are expanding robes beyond the Nordics, the rest of the world, and you will have an access to um, other wardrobes on, on, the global, on the global scale. So thank you for joining me today um, and, and to explore how, uh, explore how, we, uh, how the sharing is shaping the world uh, for the future of fashion. So together we are redefining the way the world wears. Thank you so much.